Hey guys, this is Lord of Reviews, and this is going to be an application review for the Mac and possibly the Windows. I'm not sure if this is on the Windows, but I know it's on the Mac. Uh, it's Game Salad. You may have heard of Game Salad. It's um, known as one of the easiest and best game creators in ever. And it's incredibly easy to use, and it's free um, to make. You can make online flash games. You can make uh, games you download and play on your desktop, or you can even pay, you can even pay $120 a year, and you'll be able to submit your games to the App Store for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Uh, so when you download Game Salad, it's just a DMG file, um, uh, extract it just like you do any other DMG file, disk image, and then just uh, move it to your applications folder, then you should make an icon for your doc, just like any other application. And then once you hit it, just hit Game Salad, and this is what it looks like when it comes up. Ah, it looks like there's a new version. I'm going to skip it right now, but I'm definitely going to install that after I make the video. But uh, here's what the uh, start page looks like for Game Salad. You can either make a blank game, basic platformer, basic shoot 'em up, basic table tennis, cannon, cave adventure, crazy wall wall breaker, pachinko, space rocks, or top down car race. All these, as I said, can be made as a download game, an online game, or an iPhone or iPod Touch game, as at the moment. But they're probably going to add more platforms later. You can also click recent projects to open projects that you've done recently, or shared projects. It, ha it takes a few seconds to load. And then it actually gives games that people have donated to the public for everyone to use and learn uh, how it all works. Um, and then there's My Portfolio, which uh, allows you to see your submitted games online if you create a profile. Then there's News Feed, Getting Started, and My Profile. And so we're just going to go New Project for right now. And I'm just going to go Canon. And then you can click the info, and it's a physics template. So we're going to click Edit Template. There's also a tutorial for each template. And it opens up the project editor. And now, uh, the whole game creator is made up of, see, there's an iPhone landscape, an iPhone portrait, uh, gamesalad.com, iPad. Yeah, I forgot you can make an iPad. And then HD for online flash or downloadable. We're just going to do 1280 by 720 HD. Then, the whole game creator is made up of uh, scenes and actors. Well, first, you can just type in the name of your thing. It's going to be Mr. Cannon. Uh, description tutorial. Then just leave the, leave the tags and instructions. Those are going to be the same. And so, the whole game is made up of scenes and actors. This first um, project is made up of one scene and several actors that make up the scene. So you can click scene and just click the initial scene. And it brings up this scene up in your window. Let's just maximize. And as you can see, here's your window. How this game works is that you hold down your mouse. Wait, let me play, play game. And here's it playing. You hold down your mouse to fire the cannon. Oops, it's moving the cloud around. And it fires the cannonballs. And that's the game playing. Uh, since I'm in creation mode, just let's just press preview for a better game. Here's what it looks like to start. You just hold down your mouse, and then the power bar goes up, and you, lo and you launch your cannonball. And it moves the screen, and you try and knock down the temples. That's basically how this game works. But how does it work? The point is that... Let's head back to the initial scene. Alright, now... Each of the actors has different attributes or behaviors. And so there's images. This, these are the images used for the actors. See, there's different actors. So you can click on an actor, and it brings up the different rules for this actor. This game creator is really easy to use because you can just drag attributes in and set them, and it does it. Like, play sound. So, like, when colliding with other bricks, it plays the impact stone sound. Then when it's destroyed, uh, um... When it overlaps with the destroy brick, which is an invisible down at the end, it destroys it. Then the collision, you can just set sounds and more. And it's really easy to use. I, I can't really explain it very well. But you just import images, bring them in. See, there's the clouds. And you can make them animate. You can do just about anything without, without even a single bit of coding at all. Just dragging different behaviors in and setting the numbers. 
Then there's attributes, which is the attributes of the game, and devices, which is mouse, and then whenever you touch different parts of the screen, and the audio, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then, so you basically just rename them, bring in images, and create your own game. Uh, there'll be lots of tutorials on the Game Salad website, which will be in the description. And I hope you try out this, and by the way, uh, PM me if you actually create a game on it, because I'd like to see that. And there's your game, and you can, uh, and by the way, you can also um, check and uncheck the scene parts to make them visible and not visible during editing. And then you can click web preview, publish, or get feedback, or help with this uh, scene. And then you can just press save and don't save. Uh, to save it on your desktop as a, as a game salad project file. And it'll also be in recent projects. Alright, thanks for watching this uh, little overview of game salad. Uh, have a nice day.